Let me know if this sounds familiar. In a family gathering, your cousin asks you what you do. You respond with enthusiasm. I just got a job as a social media assistant. You said, "Little did you know." Instead of being happy for you, he replied, "Oh, social media assistant, a job everyone can do, right? I guess not everyone can get an engineer position at a Fortune 500 company as I did." Then he keeps on talking about how awesome he is for hours nonstop until everyone around him is bored to death. Then you start wondering why people do that. Hi, I'm Shao. Welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious on Google and share with you some of this plot, aka people also ask, which is a feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relate to your query. Today's keyword is bragging. We will talk about why people brag. Is it okay to brag? And most importantly, how to deal with your bragging relative in a family gathering. So let's start with our first part. Why do people brag? The answer is extracted from an article titled "The Psychology of Bragging," published by Counseling Connection, which is the official blog of the Australian Institute of Professional Counselors, which is an organization providing education in counseling. According to this article, when people share information about themselves, the same area of brand activated as lows that light up when we are eating food or having sex. By the way, this article did not do a very good job revealing the source of information, but I believe they are referring to research. Published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Science in 2012, titled "Disclosing Information About Self Is Intrinsically Rewarding." So here you go. People are bragging because it feels good. Not surprising at all. But I think the real question here is why they don't know they are annoying while they are doing so. Irene Scapoletti, a behavioral scientist, and her colleagues at the City University of London, exploring these issues in a 2015 research published in the journal Psychological Science, where they asked subjects to provide a profile about themselves. Profile writers were asked to rate how interesting they believed their profiles would appear to others. Profile readers, on the other hand, then read the profile and rate them on how interesting they were. The finding shows that there was zero correlation between the profile provider's predictions and how much the reader did like the profile. The profile writer significantly overpredicts how interesting their profile are in the eyes of others. So your annoying relative likely do not know how boring and annoying they are. When they are bragging, they might even be thinking they are sharing something very interesting, and you should appreciate it. Isn't that scary? Fortunately, this article also shared a lot of tips to stop them. I will put the link in the description. But the following is my favorite: boast about yourself and self-correct, as if suddenly realizing how bad it sounds. Oh, excuse me. I guess I have been bragging. It's better that we do not do that. It only makes people feel bad. Braggers make people cringe. But you know what? Those braggers are actually not as confident about themselves as they make it out to be. Let's talk about our next part. Are people brag a lot insecure? The part answered by an article titled "Four Signs That Someone Is Insecure," published by Psychology Today, which is a media organization with a focus on psychology and human behavior. In this article, the author, Dr. Susan Whitborn, who is a professor emerita of psychological and brain science at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Point out that insecure people are more likely to brag because one, they are bragging to convince themselves that they really do have worth. Two, they try to make you feel insecure about yourself, so they can project their insecurity onto you. For those who don't know, psychological projection is a common defense mechanism that involves projecting undesirable feelings or emotions onto someone else rather than admitting or dealing with the unwanted feeling yourself. Obviously, you don't want to be one of those annoying people. But is bragging always bad? Let's talk about our next part. Is bragging good or bad? Answered by the Wall Street Journal's article titled "When Is It Okay to Brag?" This article cited research published in Social Psychology in 2016. The results find that braggers are viewed as more competent but less moral than people who remain humble, except if the bragging is unsubstantiated. In that case, they are seen as not only less competent but also immoral. People who don't brag, on the other hand, are seen as moral but incompetent. The takeaway: Ask yourself this question. 
In this situation, do I care more about being seen as competent or likable? And do I have evidence to back up what am I about to break if I choose to break? If you are on the job interview and you have all the real certification portfolios and real project you have done, then of course you should break a little bit. But if you are on a date and you know the person you are dating value kindness, it's better to be modest and never brag about something that is not real because you will end up being perceived as not only immoral but also incompetent. Okay, so there are some situations that you should slash can brag and situation you shouldn't brag. Let's talk about how to do each of them with our next two parts. Let's start with the first one. How can we overcome showing off nature? This question is extracted from an article titled Showing off, why do we do it? How to stop it? Published by Neswat Brother, which is a website providing self-improvement advices. According to this article, there is one situation that we shouldn't break when we are bragging to make other people feel jealous. And the best way to stop doing it is to be conscious about your self-bragging behavior by asking yourself two questions whenever you think you might start to brag. Question 1. Why are you doing it? Question 2. Does it help to present yourself as best? If the answer to this question is I am doing it to make other people feel bad and jealous, then you know you shouldn't brag. Okay, so the above is an advice when you think bragging might not be a good idea. But as we have established, there are situations you should brag. But how do you brag in a socially acceptable way? The answer is extracted from an article titled 7 Ways to Talk About Your Accomplishment Without Sounding Like a Bragger, published by Forbes, written by psychotherapist Amy Maureen. She provides seven advices. One, keep the emphasis on your hard work. And avoid saying something like, oh, that is easy. Or, I barely tried. Because, well, it sounds arrogant. Two, don't belittle other people. If you cross the marathon finish line in the first place, it's okay to say you were first. But don't say that the second place finisher was a mile behind you. Three, give credit where it's due. Like one of my coworkers, he always says something like, uh, it's team's efforts whenever he accomplish something. 4. Stick to the fact. Rather than saying, I'm an excellent leader, say things last month, which happened to be the time that you take over the team, sales have doubled, and let them sales determine who made that happen. 5. Express gratitude. Like, when you accomplish something at your company, you can say, I'm so grateful that this company gave this opportunity to me, alongside what you have accomplished. 6. Don't add qualifier. Saying, I hate break but blank doesn't excuse showing up. In fact, it only draw attention to the fact that, it, that you know you are about to say something that might be a turn off, but you say it anyway. You should just say something like, I'm so excited to share my good news, or I'm happy to announce blank, before you tell your accomplishment. 7. Avoid humble bragging. For those who don't know, humble brag is a self-deprecating statement with an actual intention of drawing attention to something that you are proud of. So never say, I'm so embarrassed to let my Lamborghini get this dirty. Because not only people know that it's obviously bragging, studies show humble bragging makes people sound insincere. Today we learned that there are situations you should brag as well as situations you shouldn't brag. Excessive braggers are usually insecure about themselves. We are also learned a lot of tips about how to brag as well as a lot of tips to not brag. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA yourself will be a pen. So here's the deal, I will do the reading for you and upload one video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA reports that I compile. So just do it right now. Bye!